Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for the first session in the Ward 4 Alderman Sophia King E and ES and Mid South AJC virtual job fair event series. Today, we will be hearing from eight employers hiring for various positions across multiple industries. Each employer will speak for approximately five minutes to give you some information about their company and will highlight the job openings they currently have. After employer presentations have concluded, we will then be transitioning into small group discussions with employers. Small group discussions will be held as one continuous 70 minute session and you will be able to move freely from room to room. Today's session is being recorded and will be made available on the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel for you to refer to later. Now I am pleased to introduce fourth ward alderman Sophia King. Alderman King. Hi, good morning and, and thank you. Um, want to just thank everyone uh, for coming out today. Uh, you know, finding a good job is truly important, not only uh, to the individuals that are seeking it, but to their families, uh, to the communities uh, that they are, um, uh, that they live in, um, and really just an economic drive. Uh, driver for uh, the entire community. So to that end, we are happy to provide a number of employers here today. Uh, all of them are looking for employees. So everybody here is uh, a company organization that is actually looking to hire. So please take advantage of this opportunity. Uh, I am happy to co-sponsor this with uh, a number of elected colleagues. I want to thank them uh, for joining me. I will introduce them to you soon, but before then, uh, any good uh, job fair um, can't be done without a lot of good people around them. So I'd like to thank um, e and ES Employment and Employer Services uh, for helping to put this together, as well as uh, Southern Illinois University. E and ES and SIU work closely together to register and coordinate with all our employers and made this event happen for us. So really wanna thank them today. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, my uh, elected colleagues, some who are joining us here today, and I'll introduce them, but I'd like to mention the ones who weren't able to join us uh, today, but were very instrumental in putting this together. Uh, so first, I'd like to uh, thank uh, Representative Lamont Robinson and his staff uh, for helping us here. I'd like to thank Commissioner Bill Lowry um, and his staff. And then today we have with us two uh, colleagues of mine. Um, first of all, uh, uh, Representative Cam Buckner. Uh, I'd like to introduce him and then right after him, uh, my colleague, uh, Chairman of the Budget Committee, Alderman Dowell. And so with no further ado, uh, Representative Buckner. Absolutely. Thank you, Alderman King, um, for that introduction. And thank you for bringing us here together also. I want to say good morning and thank you to Alderman Dow, uh, my older uh, woman, for, for her work as well. Um, I think Alderman King really hit the nail on the head here. This, this is um, this is an important uh, event. This is important for us because we know uh, what uh, career employment looks like in our in our communities and what it means as an economic driver in, in our neighborhood. Um, and, you know, it's very clear now more than ever after this COVID pandemic that we have to find ways to make sure that we are uh, investing resources back into our community through jobs and, and through people. Um, you know, a job is more than just a paycheck. A job is also, it's also dignity, right? And, and we want to do all we can to make sure that we have to give people the opportunities and the resources to connect them um, with those people who are employing and uh, those, are, those who are hiring. So um, just want to say thank you and good morning, everybody. Welcome. And I'm looking forward to a very fruitful uh, event and, um, you know, uh, a situation where we can make sure that we, we are putting people in the right so thank you, Alderman Oh, thank you, Representative Buckner. Appreciate you and your partnership, truly. Um, and now I will bring to you again, uh, Chairman of the uh, Budget Committee, uh, my colleague, Alderman Dowell.
I, I don't know. Can anybody hear Olive Mandel? Is she present? Uh, looks like we might have lost her. She did join momentarily. Don't see her in the waiting room. Okay. All right. Well, um, if Alderman Dow pops back in, do uh, allow her um, to speak. Uh, but I will turn it back over to you. But thank you, everyone. Again, um, you know, this is an opportunity uh, for not only you personally, uh, but we know uh, building wealth in our communities is important. And that starts with, you know, having a job. Um, and so today, I hope you take advantage of the um, job uh, opportunities that are here, and then tomorrow as well. So thank you again. And thank you to my partners and my colleagues. Um, back to you. Thank you so much for that introduction, Alderman King and Cam, or Representative Cam Buckner as well. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and jump into the employer presentation portion of the event today. One thing that I did want to note uh, before we do delve into that, because I want to allow folks to have a little bit of lead time to do this. For the breakout room session, you're gonna to want to make sure that you have the most recent version of Zoom client for meetings downloaded. That'll allow you to be able to move freely from room to room for all the employers that are present. So again, if you have not yet done so, please make sure that you do before the breakout room session that'll be taking place at approximately 1045 or thereabouts. Thank you all. Uh, so again, we're gonna go ahead and delve right into the employer presentations. First up is Chicago Lighthouse, Angela Kearney. Are you available to present? I am. Fantastic, you can begin whenever you're ready, Angela. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so great to be here, especially on this platform with all that's going on, but just to jump into it, Chicago Lighthouse, uh, we are a world renowned organization serving the blind, visually impaired, and other disabilities in veteran communities. Uh, some things to know, you can go to the next slide. Our primary positions that we are recruiting for that typically has a training class every month are call center agents with the Illinois Tollway. Call center agents are pretty much just uh, responsible for taking all inbound calls from customers who are calling to inquire about uh, iPass accounts, toll accounts, violation notices, billing issues, things of that sort. Uh, they're also responsible for assurance, speedy resolution and inquiries and utilizing all available resources. Uh, we have medical scheduler positions with the University of Illinois Hospital and Health Centers. Those medical schedules are responsible for pretty much just registering and scheduling patients, doing some insurance verification. Oh, good morning. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'll give them a. You can go ahead and continue. Apologies. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, we also have medical schedulers with Cook County Hospital, North Shore, as well as Advocate. And uh, that's pretty much for the medical schedulers. We also have, next slide, uh, positions with North Shore. Now, North Shore are considered to be patient access reps. Uh, that slide is not there, but they do the same thing as medical schedulers when we're back filling those positions. Uh, pretty much all of our positions are on our website, chicagolighthouse.org, and you can click on careers. Some of the great benefits to working at Chicago Lighthouse are we have state of art, new call centers, one here at 1850 West Roosevelt, where our medical schedulers are in the Illinois Tollway Call Center is at 750 South Halsted inside UIC Student Center. Now, there are no weekends or nights, uh, no nights or weekends right now, anyhow, since we've been in this whole pandemic arena. Uh, flexible work schedules, we have a competitive uh, salary benefit package up to tw additional 25% of your salary, 10 days of paid vacation, 12 paid holidays, six sick days, which is accrued over one year, and you can get up to 16 available days that can be accumulated. Uh, we do have our insurance, which you're eligible after the first month of the 30 days of employment. Chicago Lighthouse pays 65% and the employee pays 35%. We have dental and vision care, short-term, long-term disability, and life insurance, which is two times your salary. Company pay pension after one year of employment. Next slide. So we also, Martha's not here, but we have employment services. So with our call centers, you are required to take an assessment and a typing test. Typing test is 25 words per minute. And uh, we have computer, computer assessments. Now with our employment services area, 
they help with those individuals that have disabilities or veterans. And once uh, you take the assessment, if you don't pass, they will work with you hand in hand. So that's something that we also talk offline if you want to uh, be involved in our employment services. Our contact information is right there. So again, all our list of open opportunities in addition to the call center positions are on our website, chicagolighthouse.org, click on careers. I am Angela Kearney, the recruitment manager. My contact information is there. And as far as our employment services, uh, Martha Young White is our senior VP. She's over employment service and rehabilitation. Her contact information is there. So again, offline, as we go through the breakout sessions, if you have any questions or concerns, I am definitely here to talk with you. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for that presentation, Angela. And I just do want to reiterate what Angela just stated. If you do have any questions uh, for her regarding any other positions or information that was covered here today, uh, please feel free to either enter those into the chat or you can reserve them to the breakout rooms portion and uh, communicate with her directly. I do want to go ahead and note as well, uh, because I neglected to do so at the beginning of the session here, uh, there will be two sessions for uh, this event series, if you will. So please be sure if you have not yet registered for day two, uh, take a look at the lineup of employers that we will have for tomorrow as well. And uh, feel free to register for that day. Thank you so much, Angela. Our next employer will be Thresholds. And uh, we have multiple folks on the line for Thresholds. So uh, either Miguel, India, or Anita, are you available to present? Hi, good morning. Yes, I'm available. This is Miguel. Fantastic. You can begin whenever you're ready, Miguel. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this morning. I'm here to chat with you all about Thresholds. Uh, my name is Miguel Zambrano. I'm the manager of talent acquisition here at Thresholds, and I'm joined with Anita O'Neill, who is a talent acquisition specialist, and India Glasper, who is our sourcing coordinator. And we're here to tell you a little bit about employment opportunities over at Thresholds. If you could please go to the next slide. So Thresholds, we are a nonprofit mental health organization. We have been around for about 62 years now, and we have been providing healthcare, healing, and hope for individuals that are living with a mental illness and a substance use disorder in Illinois. Um, we are one of the oldest and largest mental health providers in the state of Illinois. And we have locations all across the city of Chicago on the north side, like in neighborhoods uh, in Ravenswood and Lakeview, on the south side of Chicago in Fuller Park, Canaryville, Woodlawn, and also on the west side in neighborhoods like the Austin neighborhood, Humble Park, uh, Logan Square, as well as West Garfield Park. We are also in the surrounding suburbs like Blue Island, Evanston and Skokie, and we're as far north as Lake and McHenry County, and then about as far south as Kankakee. Um, if you could please go to the next slide. Uh, so here is some contact information. I apologize that mine is not on here as I had to substitute um, very last minute. So here's contact information for Anita O'Neill and India Glasper. Next slide, please. So we are hiring for a variety of different positions here at Thresholds, one of them being our residential support specialist. And as the name implies, these individuals are providing direct service to our members in a residential setting. They are teaching them things like independent and community living skills, housekeeping, shopping, meal preparation, personal hygiene, as well as teaching them um, functional and interpersonal coping skills. Um, for a position like this, we do um, require our staff to have a high school diploma or a GED um, as well. Um, we could also um, look at individuals that have a bachelor's degree in a, a mental health field. So fields like social work, psychology, counseling, addiction studies, things of that nature. And then requirements being um, at least 21 years of age and having a valid driver's license. Next slide. So our community support specialist position these individuals are providing uh, person-centered trauma-informed direct service to our members through any means of individual and group counseling, therapy sessions, vocational support. Uh, this position really is just assisting our members in their overall recovery process because recovery can look different for everyone. Um, for this position, again, we're looking for individuals that have a high school diploma or GED 
with five years of supervised experience in the social services, mental health realm, or individuals with a bachelor's degree in psychology, social work uh, related mental health fields. This position does require access to a personal vehicle since this position does involve community outreach. So doing things like delivering medications to a member, transporting a member to a social security office or to a job interview or a doctor's appointment. Um, so that's why access to a vehicle is um, crucial for this position. Next slide. Our outreach workers. So for this position, these individuals are working um, and providing street outreach. They're doing case management, job support, crisis intervention with individuals that are experiencing homelessness and mental illness. So these individuals, they actually partner with our housing department here at Thresholds to support members in obtaining um, and finding housing um, throughout the city of Chicago. Um, this position has very similar qualifications to the others, high school diploma or GED with five years of supervised social service experience, bachelor's in mental health, um, as well as having a um, valid driver's license and access to a personal vehicle. And then finally, we have our employment specialist position. So these individuals, they're working directly with our members and helping them obtain a job. Um, as well as um, finding a job, maintaining employment um, for members that are looking to um, get back into the workforce. So these individuals, they spend at least 60% of their day in the community, engaging with our members, engaging with consumers and employers, as well as family members. Um, and for a position like this one, we typically look for individuals that have a bachelor's degree in mental health, social services, or any um, business realm like marketing, sales, things like that. And then again, um, having access to a personal vehicle for this role. Next slide. And then this is what um, total rewards looks like in terms of compensation for bachelors, masters and licensed professionals, as well as here are a list of some benefits that we offer medical vision and dental um, a, a retirement plan with a 3% employer match. Here are just some um, stats on days off in terms of flexible paid time off, some tuition discounts. We do offer a student loan forgiveness program um, as well as free supervision if you were looking to obtain a clinical licensure in the mental health field. And then this is a link for individuals to apply. Feel free to check out our website at www.thresholds.org slash careers. And um, you're also welcome to shoot us an email with an updated copy of a resume if you see any opportunities that you're interested in on our website. Fantastic, thank you for that presentation, Miguel. And as I stated with our first employer, if you do have any questions for Miguel regarding any opportunities at Thresholds or you just want to um, generally inquire about anything that's related to the organization, please feel free to either enter that into the chat or reserve uh, your questions to the breakout room sessions that will be taking place immediately after all employers have presented. Thank you so much, Miguel. Our next employer will be Alden Lakeland. Uh, Solomon, are you available to present? Yes, good morning. Good morning. You can begin whenever you're ready, Solomon. Okay, good morning, everybody. And I am um... I want to thank everybody for being here and the opportunity to present today. Um, Alden Lakeland is a skilled nursing facility in Chicago and Uptown, right off Lakeshore Drive and on Lawrence. Um, and uh, we're a very, very advanced uh, skilled nursing facility. So we have um, a wide spectrum of different types of patients, but anybody basically comes out of a hospital um, that has a acute care need in the hospital and needs their care um, that began in the hospital to continue, um, and they don't have anybody at home to take care of them, um, then we're able to help out and, and, and get them the skilled nursing services that they need. Um, and that could include um, activities of daily living, um, dressing, grooming, things like that, um, up to and including uh, patients that are on ventilators. Um, you know, so we are able to do respiratory care, we do physical therapy, um, and we do, um, you know, a holistic approach towards these individuals' healthcare, and 
really taking care of them in a person-centered kind of way. Um, <clears throat> the roles that we're hiring for primarily are um, nurses, registered nurses, and CNAs. We hire new grads. Um, we actually are very excited to hire new grads. Um, our starting rate for a um, registered nurse is between $34 and $35 an hour. Um, CNAs were paying $16 to $17 an hour. Um, we have a sign-on bonus for the RNs, which is uh, $4,000, and CNA $1,000 sign-on bonus. Um, we also have a new um, position here called a resident attendant. Um, that position, the entire intent of it is to um, create CNAs in the marketplace. Um, there really seems to be a shortage of CNAs um, out there. And so what we did, we took upon ourselves to create a role where we can train uh, individuals that have no healthcare experience um, and um, give them basic level training. And then once we see that they're um, eligible and fitting for the role, then we um, we're able to uh, pay for them to go to CNA school. And that's a benefit that um, we're proud to offer to the community at large. Um, and um, we really think it, um, it's a great program, uh, especially someone who's looking to get into the healthcare field, but hasn't been able to um, either afford to pay for CNA school or just hasn't had the opportunity to work and go to school at the same time. Um, so we're looking to be able to um, create our own CNAs um, and then move them along the track. Um, we also have a tuition reimbursement program. So an individual who started working with us as a resident attendant, um, then became a CNA um, and worked for us for two years. Um, we then have a tuition reimbursement program that they're eligible for that will pay for them to go to registered nurse school um, and become an RN. Um, the opportunity there is that once, you know, they graduate, they're, they are, um, expected to work with us, um, you know, for uh, four years after the graduation. Um, but, you know, that's a large, um, a large amount of money to um, give to an individual who's eligible. Um, so we think that it's a nice opportunity. Um, you know, $40,000 for some RN schools is, is a lot of money for individuals. And, and sometimes there isn't really that opportunity for people to be able to, again, go to work and go to school and afford both. Um, and so we, we're happy to be the kind of employer that invests in our staff, um, invests in their growth, um, and um, really work well for the betterment um, and the good of the patients here. Um, ultimately, our only agenda, or our first agenda, is that we should take care of our residents and our patients in the best possible way. Um, and that's why we are actively hiring. Um, in this past year, I've probably hired um, between 15 and 20 resident attendants that I've also put through CNA school. So we're actively hiring. Um, we usually uh, have a school that we work with where the uh, program for the resident attendant is about six weeks. Um, and so once they're um, enrolled in school, they're able to continue working in their role as a resident attendant, graduate, and then they get their own opportunity to work here as a CNA. Um, anybody can apply for the role. You don't have to have any experience at all. Um, you can go on our website, which is www.aldenlakeland.com, click on the careers tab, and you can find the role resident attendant, and you can apply that way. If you're a CNA, you can do the same thing, apply for the CNA job. And if you're a nurse, you can also apply for the uh, registered nurse job on that website. Um, we also have some other roles that we're, we're hiring for. Um, we have social worker roles, um, standard uh, role for a social worker pays about um, fifty to fifty-five thousand dollars annually, and it's a master's level role. Um, we have an assistant social worker role as well, um, and um, the 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 role for that pays between eighteen and nineteen dollars an hour or so, um, and uh, that's a bachelor's level. Um, so, a master's in social work or a bachelor's level in social work. Um, and so, the truth is, here at Alden Lakeland, we're always looking for talent. We're always looking for great people to come on and take care of the patients here. And um, really the opportunity here is a, is, a, is a place to immerse yourself in, in the healthcare field and, and, uh, and progress and move forward. And um, if you have any questions, I'll be ha happy to answer. I'll be in one of the group health sessions later. Um, and uh, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you so much for that information, Solomon. And as Solomon just stated, uh, he will be taking place in the um, breakout rooms portion of the event that will be occurring after all employers have presented today. So if you do have any questions, again, please feel free to either enter those into the chat or reserve them for that breakout room session that will be upcoming. Thank you so much, Solomon.
Thank you. Our next presenter, uh, I do believe, was supposed to be Cars Transport. Unfortunately, the employer rep was unable to join the session. So uh, I will leave this slide up here just momentarily. Um, you can see, obviously, employer contact information that is provided there, and then also a website link if you would like to view any of the positions that Cars Transport has available for hire. Our next presenter will be the RDA group. Uh, I do believe that will be Rudy Reyes. Rudy, are you available to present? Yes, I am. Can you me? begin whenever you're ready, Rudy. All right. Well, uh, thanks and uh, welcome, everyone. I'm, uh, I'm Rudy Reyes, HR manager uh, at the Chicago plant uh, in RDA group, uh, located on 43rd and Racine. Uh, so we'd like you to join the global leader in packaging solutions. Next slide. Next slide, please. Uh, the R division is to be the preferred packaging partner to the world's leading brands. We have brands, we make cans for Pepsi, Coke, Starbucks, White Claw, Monster, among many others. Next slide, please. So we do have a global presence. Uh, we have 56 metal and glass manufacturing facilities in 12 countries and employ approximately 16,000 people with the sales of more than 6.5 billion. In the United States, we have eight facilities, which includes an end production facility and one technical center. Next slide. So our people and products help build customer brands and bottom lines. Next slide. We are sold out. The can business is booming. We need your help to push us further. Every can we make goes out the door. Uh, next slide, please. And we want to do it at the same time, simultaneously, we want to do it um, by sustainability as a competitive advantage. So for the environment, for local communities, and by being efficient uh, at our local level at the plants. Next slide. So our vision is to be the preferred packaging partner to the world's leading brands. We do that by trust. We build uh, trusting relationships based on mutual respect, integrity, and transparency. Uh, through excellence, we raise the bar on performance every year, targeting continuous improvement, innovation, and sustainability. And through teamwork, we strengthen our individual and team capabilities through collaboration, shared responsibility, and communication. Next slide. So you want to work here. Uh, it's a good environment. Our turnover is around 10%, and that says a lot about our business, says a lot about our people. Um, we do pay well, and uh, we'll discuss a little bit about the pay rates in, in the next couple of slides, but move on to the next slide, please. So we have the best people, best opportunities. I mean, there's room for improvement. Uh, we, from hourly ranks, they've been moved up to supervisor, to production manager. So it, 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 the opportunities are there. Next slide. Here's a quick snapshot of our locations. You can see a little cluster there in the Midwest. Uh, next slide. So features bright at our dog from salary, from hourly, corporate. In Chicago, we do have a corporate office here as well. We have a, a, a metal plant and we have a glass plant uh, nearby and an end plant uh, in Indiana. Uh, next slide. Um, so if you wanna apply, go to careers.artagroup.com. Uh, once you're there in the search, you type in Chicago for location and all the, lo all the jobs in Chicago will pop up. Um, Go to the next slide, see if I have the uh, rates there. So for manual machinists, uh, we are looking for a journeyman manual machinist. They actually start off at 3097. We're looking for an industrial mechanic. Uh, they start off at 2323. After a year, uh, they reach 2942. Uh, we need an experienced millwright, so they'll start at 3090. Uh, we need printer operators. They start at 2472, going up to 3090. And a palletizer operator, which starts at 1997 to 2852. Uh, so just a little bit about our schedule here. We do work uh, four days on, four days off, uh, 12 hour schedule, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So there's built in overtime every day. Uh, there's lots of opportunity for overtime. I can tell you that a lot of our folks are in track this year to, to make six figures in these positions. Uh, so we are we have competitive wages and we'd like for you to help us out. Uh, so again, go to careers.r.group.com. Um, look for the job there, apply. Uh, next step after that, if we decide to reach out to you, we'll, we'll give you a call, uh, set up a, an assessment and interview. Uh, the assessment could be a basic uh, 
uh, assessment or a mechanical assessment, uh, depending on the position. Uh, once you pass there, we'll move forward to getting a chance to talk to you. If we decide to offer you, you'll uh, do a background check and a five panel uh, hair power called drug screen. Uh, so I look forward to talking to some of you guys. Uh, just please apply and we need the help. This business is booming, like I said. Uh, let's make some money and let's make some cans. Thanks. Thank you so much for that presentation, Rudy. And I just do want to reiterate, uh, Rudy will be representing the RDOC group in the breakout rooms session of the event. Uh, so please stick around. If you do have any questions, please feel free to ask Rudy at that time. Thank you so much, Rudy. Our next presenter will be uh, McCormick Place, MPEA, uh, Tiffany Wright. Taking a look here at the participant section, I don't believe that uh, the employer rep was able to join, unfortunately. So I have provided, again, that information here on the slide. Uh, direct contact information to that employer rep, a website, and then also a link where you can view all of the job postings uh, that MPEA has to offer. Leave this up for just one moment for folks to copy it down and we'll move to our next presenter, which will be Maria Nava with the Field Museum. Maria, are you available to present? Yes, I am. Okay. You can begin whenever you're ready, Maria. Great. I'm so sorry. I'm hearing a lot of the um, noise. I think this is better. Uh, well, thank you so much for having the Field Museum here today. Um, my name is Maria Nav, and I'm the HR manager for the Field Museum. Um, next slide, please. Oh, um, for some reason, the, um, the font um, is not coming up. Daniel? Um. Um, unfortunately, yeah, it does look like for some reason, um, a little bit of a formatting issue must have occurred there with the uh, font. Would it be possible for me to share my screen? Absolutely, if you're comfortable doing so, Maria. Sure. One. No worries. I'm so sorry, I'm not able to get um, my share screen to, to work. Um, not no worries. Uh, so what we'll go ahead and do, I think, Maria, is just advance to the next slide. And, uh, okay, sure. I can yeah. go through each um, of the slides. Um, so if you'd like to go back to the first one. Uh, okay. I'm so sorry about the formatting issue. Um, the Field Museum fuels a journey of discovery across time to enable solutions for a brighter future, rich in nature and culture. Um, this is our, our mission and it's truly um, aligned with everything that we do. So everything that we do as a museum from our exhibitions to human resources to finance aligns with our, our mission. Next slide, please. Okay, um, so the, uh, the Field Museum was um, began with the World Columbian Exposition of 1893. Um, the collection grew out of items that were exhibited during the World's Columbian Exposition of 1893. And um, Marshall Field actually donated about $1 million to make the collective dream of a permanent museum a reality. 
Um, that resulted in the Field Museum's first location, or first museum location at um, what is currently the home of the Museum of Science and Industry. Um, the, let me see the, um, if you can see the image on the bottom right, that is our current location, which is 1400 South Lakeshore Drive or 1400 South Lakeshore Drive in Chicago, Illinois. Um, that's actually our first day. Um, you can see there's a line of people waiting to, to come into the museum to view the collections and exhibits. Um, currently, we're still in the same location, and um, this year we're celebrating our centennial uh, year at the, at the Field Museum. Next slide, please. So a little bit about the Field Museum. Um, the Field Museum is one of the largest institutions of its kind. Um, it is an international center for public learning and scientific study, um, particularly of the world's diverse environments and cultures. We do have four main divisions um, within our, our, our agency or organization, which include science and education, finance and facilities, uh, institutional advancement, and our president's office. Each of these different um, divisions or departments are overseen by our um, executive team. Um, currently, we have approximately 445 personnel. And we also have approximately 600 volunteers between 100 and 200 interns. And we also do um, have contractors, vendors, and scientific affiliates who call the Field Museum their home. Next slide, please. Thank you. Um, so again, I apologize for the formatting. Um, currently, we do have a wide variety of uh, job opportunities open at the Field Museum. They truly do range from a stationary engineer to a craftsperson to um, urban conservation educator, a security officer, marketing manager. We have a help desk agent opening, um, our executive assistant to the CFO or Ch chief financial officer. We're also currently recruiting for, um, we're recruiting for a um, chief diversity officer as well. Um, so these are just some of the positions that we would like to highlight. Um, and I will also be participating in the one-on-one -on -one sessions, and I can tell you a little bit more about each of these positions. But as you can see, the requirements are, are listed on um, the slide. Our stationary engineer does require a high school diploma and four years of relevant experience. Um, our craftsperson to position requires a vocational technical high school diploma or equivalent and three or more years of relevant um, related specialty experience. Our urban conservation educator position requires a bachelor's degree in environmental science, social science, education, or um, equivalent field experience, and three years of experience in environmental education and or conservation science and stewardship training. Um, security officer requires a high school diploma or equivalent. Previous security, military, and or first responder experience is definitely a plus. Our marketing manager requires a bachelor's degree and um, we do prefer a bachelor's degree in advertising, marketing, liberal arts, or journalism. Our help desk agent position requires a college degree in computer science um, or equivalent, um, I'm sorry, or equivalent experience in technology, uh, strong troubleshooting skills, and creative solution engineering abilities. Um, so our executive assistant to our CFO requires an associate's degree and five or more years of work experience in senior assistant or executive administrator role. If you could move to the next slide. So these are just some of our other positions. Um, we have our public relations coordinator, our marketing coordinator, uh, Granger Science Hub Coordinator, as well as our Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer position, which I mentioned um, a couple of moments ago. This is our career site highlighted in blue. Um, you can visit um, www.fieldmuseum.org. Um, then you can click on our careers page to look at all of our current openings. And um, that is also the site that you would be submitting your application through. Next slide, please. Okay, so we do encourage that you apply to the Field Museum's career page. Um, you would need to submit your application and any other required materials, 
qualified applicants will be considered for next steps. Um, next steps may include phone screening, an interview, um, background check, and references. Typically, we do request three references to be completed, um, potentially an offer, and then onboarding, gathering all new hire paperwork for the museum. Okay, and this is my contact information. Um, my phone number is 312-665-7276. If you have any questions or um, you know, would like to share your, your information, your resume, you can give me a call. My email address is mnava at fieldmuseum.org. Thank you. Thank you so much for that presentation, Maria. And we do apologize for uh, some of those formatting issues that came up. Uh, just do want to reiterate, if you do have any questions for Maria regarding any of the positions that were covered at the Field Museum, please be sure to stick around for the breakout rooms portion that will be uh, upcoming, and you can obviously ask any questions that you do have uh, for her at that time. Thank you again, Maria. Our final employer presenter uh, today will be Crystal Clear Window Washing. Calvin, are you available to present? Yes, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon, good morning, everyone. I am Calvin Brown, uh, Crystal Clear Window Washing and Janitor Service. We are a forest service janitorial company. Uh, next slide. Uh, before I go here, I am the CEO and I decided to jump on here today personally and start sending staff because I wanted you to really get a feel of the company and myself. So about us, Crystal Clear Window Washing and Janitor Service Company was established in May of 2012. Its founder and principal, Calvin Brown, is a real estate investor and clergyman. A Chicago native, Mr. Brown's love for the community where he grew up sparked his entrepreneurial spirit at an early age. Brown sought to create a vehicle for creation of economic stimulus in economically disadvantaged neighborhoods. While real estate caught his attention, it lacked the potential for putting substantial numbers of people to work, realizing the impact clean windows had on people, their ability to lift spirits and reflect positive visual images. He poured his time and resources into developing crystal clear window washing and janitorial service company. Next slide, please. To ensure its success, Brown grounded the company in three main principles quality, integrity, and customer service. Today, Crystal Clear Window Washing and Janitor Service has an impressive clientele of repeat customers, hires crews, 15 to 20 workers, and is expanding rapidly in communities throughout Illinois. Next slide, please. Our contact information. Um, I'm Calvin Brown. Of course, I have staff um, that will move this process forward. Our email address is info at crystalclearwwjs.com. That is not my personal email address. That is the company's email address where you can feel free to send your resumes. Also on our website, we do have a careers page um, where you can also enter your information. Our office telephone number is 773-690-5046. And our website is crystalclearwwjs.com. I encourage you to go on that website and you'll be able to see the things that we're doing and also see some of the um, high name clients that we service. Next slide, please. These are currently the positions that we have available. Um, these are the things that I'm looking for. Our offices are located in the uh, Woodlawn community as well. Administrative assistant, the salary range is from 18 to $20 per hour. I have one position open there, and that is a part-time position. The minimum qualifications, uh, you should have excellent communication skills and excellent computer skills. Uh, our custodial workers, we have several positions. Uh, the salary range is 14 to $18 per hour. Uh, we're currently looking at a minimum of 25 positions available, and the hours vary and the locations vary. The minimum qualifications, have a reliable vehicle, have a cell phone, and some janitorial cleaning experience. Our next position is a custodial analyst. That salary range is $25 per hour. We're currently looking for a minimum of six people. The hours are range 32 hours per week. And the minimum qualifications 
Uh, you must be able to pass the CPS background check and CPS the Chicago Public Schools background check. That's a must in order to move forward with anything. Uh, you must have a reliable vehicle. You must have a cell phone. You must have janitorial clean experience. And for this uh, custodial analyst, you must be willing to uh, travel to various locations along with custodial worker. You must be willing to travel to various locations as well. Next slide, please. The clear choice. The clear choice is our uh, company slogan that I, I started back in when I started the company. And we are, you see all these buildings, we are the clear choice for all facilities uh, for us to be the company to handle the janitorial cleaning. We are also the clear choice for uh, good candidates to come and work for our company. Thank you. And I look forward to talking to you in the breakout room. Oh, one last thing I want to say. Uh, we do, um, our company culture is quality, integrity, and customer service. And uh, one thing that I do believe in is I try to give back um, and help second chance individuals. So for certain positions, I am open to having a discussion for those that may need a second chance to try to get back into the workforce. Thank you. Thank you so much for that presentation, Calvin. And as I've been stating, if you do have any questions for Calvin regarding any of the employment opportunities that were covered at Crystal Clear Window Washing, please stick around for the breakout room session that will be happening next. And you will, of course, have an opportunity to uh, meet with him and have any questions that you have answered. Thank you so much, Calvin. At this point, we're going to go ahead and transition directly into the breakout rooms portion of the event. Uh, my colleague David will be kind of overseeing that portion of the event. So David, I'd like to turn things over to you. Thank you very much, Daniel. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this time, just wanted to go over how this portion of the event will be structured and how the breakout rooms will work. Uh, so momentarily, I'll open up the breakout rooms for each employer and they'll have their own room that you'll be able to join. And these rooms are gonna remain open until the conclusion of this morning's event. And at that time, it will return us all to this main room that we're currently in. Again, you're free to move around to the different rooms. Um, and as Daniel stated earlier, and should have received an email about this, but if you have an older version of Zoom, you'll not see the option to join a breakout room. And you can down the, download the uh, latest version of Zoom with that URL on uh, the screen there, zoom.us slash download. And um, if you're joining from a desktop or laptop, you'll want to download the Zoom client for meetings uh, version. And additionally, if you're joining by phone, uh, they do have um, iOS and Android um, apps that you can download as well if you're joining from a mobile device. And so when we start the breakout rooms, you'll see an icon in the toolbar uh, titled breakout rooms. Um, you won't see this until the rooms open here in a moment, but, uh, and I'll let you know once that happens, but uh, to join the breakout room of your choosing, you'll navigate to that icon on the toolbar, select that, and then you'll see a, a window pop up with the different rooms and the button uh, option to join that breakout room. And depending on the size of the screen that you're joining with, the you might have to click the more option uh, to see the breakout rooms icon. Uh, if you don't see this option, then you are running an older version of Zoom and you will need to download the latest version and the link provided. And uh, you may be forced to leave the session, but please rejoin as soon as you're able. And after clicking the breakout rooms icon again, you can then select which employer you'd like to join. And there will be a uh, one minute warning that will let you know when the rooms will close. And after that last minute, it will return us all to this main room and we will close out our event. So now we're just going to go over uh, some of the rules uh, that we have um, in place. And so there's just an overview of what um, it's just discussed, but the ground rules, uh, you'll not be allowed to monopolize an employer's time once you've asked your question and received a response. You'll then need to mute yourself to allow other job seekers the same opportunity. You may share your video and camera, but please be respectful and professional. If you don't abide by these rules and you choose to be disruptive or inconsiderate to 
Other job seekers, you'll receive one verbal warning by partner staff. And should you choose to disregard this warning, you'll be permanently placed on mute. And uh, if you are persistent, uh, we will remove you from the uh, meeting entirely and you will not be able to rejoin. And so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the breakout rooms. Now partner and employer staff, you'll automatically be assigned to those rooms. But um, again, job seek for attendees. Um, in a moment here, you should see the breakout room icon in the Zoom toolbar, and then you can join the employer room of your choosing. Let's see, I've just opened up the breakout rooms. It looks like all of our employers and partner staff have uh, arrived in those rooms. So uh, you should now see the Zoom in the Zoom toolbar, the uh, breakout rooms icon as, a, as appears on the uh, slide on the screen here. And then you'll be able to uh, join the employer of your choosing. Excuse me, I don't see a breakout room for Alverno Laboratories. Um, I don't believe, and Daniel, correct me if I'm wrong, are they presenting tomorrow? tomorrow? That is correct. Alverno will be presenting tomorrow. So there will be a room tomorrow for Alverno Laboratories. Excuse me, I'm trying to um, get into the, um, a breakout room. Do I just click on the name? Yes. Yeah, if you see the option, you should see a button or, you know, a blue join and if you click that then you should be able to join that breakout room i don't see a um join button okay uh in that case uh which employer uh room would you like to to join uh, the lighthouse lighthouse okay give me one I just do want to reiterate while David's doing that, uh, if you are not able to see the icons uh, that David uh, has up on the screen currently, just let us know which room you would like to join and we can manually assign you to that room as well, just as a fail safe option. Uh, I'll go ahead and name those just once more. We have Chicago Lighthouse, Thresholds, Alden Lakeland, the Arda Group, the Field Museum, and Crystal Clear Window Washing. Uh, feel free to either unmute yourself or enter uh, which employer you are interested in meeting with into the chat, and we will, again, manually assign you to it if you're not able to see those icons.
And for folks who've just joined us, just want to remind you about, on the screen, you'll see uh, instructions as to how to join a breakout room session. So if you would like to join any of the sessions of any of the employers who are on the call, uh, please follow the instructions up on the screen and you can do so. If you are unable to pull up uh, the instructions that you see up on the screen, just let us know which employer you would like to meet with and we will manually assign you to that room. I'll go ahead and list off the employers once more that we do have available. First is Chicago Lighthouse. We then have Thresholds, Alden Lakeland, the R-Dog Group, the Field Museum, and crystal clear window washing. If any of those employers are of interest to you, just either unmute yourself and let us know who you'd like to meet with or drop uh, the name into the chat and we'll manu manually assign you to that room. Thank you. Daniel, we just had a few more uh, individuals join if you wanted to kind of give them that spiel again. Yeah, absolutely. So for the folks that just joined, you'll see up on the screen instructions as to how to join a breakout room session. Again, in order to access some of these features, you'll want to be sure to have the most recent Zoom client for meetings downloaded. You can do that at zoom.us slash download. Uh, if you are unable to pull up any of those icons that are up on the screen there, just let us know which employer you would like to um, meet with. We can manually assign you to the rooms as well. And I'll go ahead and list off who we do have on the call. Uh, first up, we have Chicago Lighthouse. We have Thresholds, Alden Lakeland, the R-Dog Group, the Field Museum, and Crystal Clear Window Washing. Again, feel free to unmute yourself and let us know which employer you'd like to meet with. If not, you can also drop it into the chat as well. Thank you.
Hi, Avita. Just saw your uh, message in the chat there. Uh, if you would like to join tomorrow's session as well, you are more than welcome to do so. You'll want to be sure to register for it, uh, obviously, beforehand. You'll be using the same registration link that you use to, to uh, register, excuse me, for day one. Uh, so again, please feel free to register for day two. And if those employers are of any interest to you, uh, you are more than welcome to join that session and meet with them tomorrow as well. And it looks like we did have a few additional folks who joined the session here. So we just do want to give you a brief rundown of how to join the breakout room. As you'll see up on your screen, we do have some screenshots as to how to join the breakout rooms. Uh, so please follow those prompts or instructions there and you should be able to join the session. Uh, if you are unable to see any of those icons, uh, let us know and we can manually assign you to a room of your choosing. I'll let you know who the employers are. We have 
Chicago Lighthouse, Thresholds, Alden Lakeland, the Arda Group, the Field Museum, and Crystal Clear Window Washing on the line. Again, we can move you to any of those rooms that you'd like. Just let us know. Hi, Norman, just saw your question in the chat. I'm not sure if any of the employers are offering part-time work, but um, if you do want to go ahead and meet with any of them, let us know. And of course, you can ask that question and see if that is available.
Fantastic. Well, it looks like we do have everyone back here in the main room. Uh, we are a few minutes ahead of schedule, um, unfortunately, due to a technical error. Uh, but I do still think it might be an appropriate time to go ahead and wrap up the session. Uh, I do not see any of the electeds on the call. Uh, so I do want to open it up for any of the partners who might be on the call or maybe uh, staff from the elected office. If you want to speak on behalf of those folks, you are more than welcome to do so now. If not, we'll go ahead and give kind of the formal wrap up or introduction to today's session. One final call for those folks who are on the line. If you'd like to make any concluding remarks, please feel free to do so. I'll make a final remark, Daniel. This was very, very uh, intriguing, very nice. I enjoy talking to uh, prospective employees. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think it was very engaging. This platform was awesome. I hope I said something that would encourage them to come work with me at the Chicago Lighthouse. And wanna wish everybody luck as you continue with your uh, job employment search. Awesome, thank you so much for that, Angela. And of, of course, we're glad that it was a fruitful event for you and hopefully you'll participate in future events as well. Exactly, I will. Excellent. Any other folks that'd like to give any sort of concluding remarks before we wrap things up today? Hello, everyone. It was so, it's nice to see you, Angela. This is Anita from Thresholds, our lighthouse buddy. <laughs> Hi, Anita. <laughs> yeah, so good to see you. But thank you so much, Daniel. I appreciate this platform. We definitely got some good information uh, through this, um, this career fair. So I just want to say on behalf of Thresholds, thank you so much. We really appreciate being here. Absolutely. Thank you for the kind words, Anita. Much appreciated. Any other folks on the line want to make any sort of closing remarks? I just wanted to remind people that if they are interested in participating tomorrow, it is a separate registration process. So just make sure to register separately for tomorrow's event. Absolutely. Thank you for that, Maya. And as Maya stated, you'll use that same registration link that you used to register for today's session. You'll just want to be sure to register for day two. And then, of course, you'll be able to meet with all the employers we have uh, slated for tomorrow's event. Thank you, Maya. Any other folks want to make concluding remarks before we wrap things up? I want to say great job at SIU. Daniel, you guys are phenomenal with the platform, uh, excuse me, with the virtual platform. I totally enjoyed it. I thought it was quite informative as usual. Great job, gentlemen. Thank you so much, I Charles. I concur. Thank you, SIU. We really appreciate you guys for all your help. Absolutely. Thank you so much, everyone. And I'll give Anyone else on the call, um, as far as partners are concerned, who would like to make any concluding remarks, please feel free to do so. Otherwise, we'll give that formal wrap up now. Yes, this is Anthony Lindsay from the Third Ward Office of Alderman Pet Dial. I would like to uh, thank everyone. And uh, Maya, thank you for another wonderful um, job uh, program that you put on here. And uh, SIU, uh, thank you for your expertise in maintaining this session and uh, I look forward to the um, the event tomorrow. And on behalf of Alderman Pat Dow, I want to say thank everyone that participated. Thank you, Anthony. Anthony. Fantastic. Well, if folks don't have any other concluding remarks they'd like to make. We'll Actually, I do. I'm sorry, Daniel. I got one yeah. more thing. Tomorrow, no please things. do not. We have other uh, employers tomorrow. We have different um, sectors that we're showcasing. Uh, we have the IT sector center, retail sector center, um, uh, retail, and we have healthcare. So please, um, if you didn't find what you're looking for today, uh, please feel free to check out our other employers tomorrow. We will have on board. This is just, we're just halfway through uh, this entire event, so I just wanted to make a reminder about that. Thank you so much, Charles. And I do want to add too. I do believe we'll have the TDL sector center on the line as well. So if you're interested in anything transportation, distribution, or logistics related, uh, those folks will be on the line as well to answer your questions. Fantastic, so we'll go ahead and begin kind of that formal wrap up. Just want to go ahead and let folks know we have recorded today's session and I will be uploading it to the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel later this afternoon. The point being here, if there's anything that you need to go back um, through particularly, 
particularly, excuse me, regarding employer presentations that you'd like to review uh, before you submit your applications. You can obviously view the video there and refresh yourself. Um, again, just want to stress that if you do want to take part in tomorrow's event, you'll want to be sure to register for day two using the link that you use to register for day one. Uh, again, want to thank all of the employers who carved out time during their busy schedules today and same with the partner staff. Uh, thank you to all the job seekers, of course, that are on the line as well. We hope that uh, today's session was fruitful and aided you to an extent at least uh, in your job search. Again, thank you all for joining and we look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you.